Second Samuel chapter 5. I'm reading verses 17 to 20. But when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines came up to seek him, David. And David heard of it and went down to the hold. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Raphim. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. Somebody say amen loud. And David came to Baal Perazim. And David smote them there and said, The Lord has broken forth upon my enemies before me as a bridge of waters. Therefore, he called the name of that place Baal-Perazim. Lama Shabbat. Isaiah 54, verse number 3. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be what? Inhabited. Lift your right hand and ask God to speak to you. Tell him you came by yourself. Don't pass me by. Do my own for me. Reveal yourself through your word. Don't let your, your grace pass me by. Do that which you have intended to do in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm speaking to us today on our winning edge. The advantage that a believer in Christ has over the rest. What makes us triumphant in every battle of our life That thing that makes us to express, give full expression to the grace of God that is in our lives. The Bible in Psalm number one, verse one, says, Psalm number one, 
and verse number one. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Verse number two says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law that he meditate day and night. In verse number three, he said that person shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth. He shall do what? Prosper. <laughs> the believers in Christ have a source which others don't have access to. When you discover the source of your strength and apply it, you never, never, never will be defeated in life. Somebody say amen. It is interesting to note that these particular people called the Philistines for ages have been against God's people. You remember when Isaac dug wells, the Philistines closed it. They have been in the history of the opposition party party. But here the Bible says, when they heard that David was anointed king, it stirred trouble in their camp. for you. If you decide to change the tide that has been against you, if you decide to be exceptional and stand up when others are cowed down, <laughs> Be sure 
the Philistines will gather. They will gather. They will, you know, the moment you decide to rise above them, they will hold secret meetings about you. You know, I don't know what I've done. They are talking about me. It's because you are relevant. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know, the Philistines mobilize against David when they heard that he has been anointed king. A young man is, is going through battles in the hands of Saul. He's gone, you know, spent great part of his life in trenches, in the desert, in the rocks, hiding for his life. When he thought that he had settled. Then the Philistines gathered. Ladies and gentlemen, don't think that life will always smile at you. In your endeavors. When David heard that the Philistines have come against him, they were gathered together in Raphidim. Spread all over. against David. The Bible says, and David inquired from the Lord. Now, I'm talking about the winning edge. Some would have contacted some other armies somewhere else. It is unimaginable that it does happen. Someone can be in a church like this. When little challenges come, they are running around from pillar to post. You don't think you have access to God. Little boys whom I cannot even allow to teach Sunday school here, going in the name of prophets, are exploiting you. You don't have a personal access. David did not even call his prophet. He inquired of God. And God heard David. David said, God, you see the Philistines where they are hiding. You know their intention. You have helped me before. This is a new paradigm. Shall I go after them? Oh, that's interesting. David did not stay in a corner and say, God, 
fire them, kill them where they are. There was a part that he knew he had to fulfill. God, I make myself an instrument. If you say I can, I can. I'm only waiting for your instruction. And God told David, go up. Go and fight. I'm not going to send angels without you. You go. But be sure I will deliver them into your hands. Somebody shout hallelujah. What will you do if you engage in a war that before you fight you are declared a winner? What will you do if before you write an exam you are declared successful? You know David heard the counsel of God. God told him, you go up. I will be your winning edge. You will not fail in this battle. Every one of you, as you launch into the new year, make the Lord your strength. Make him your shepherd. David described him this way. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. He said, I will not fear. He said, no and host will rise against me. In this will I be confident. Somebody shout glory. David went <laughs> and the Philistines fell like a pack of cars. David slaughtered them. Confusion entered their midst. Their weapons of war could no more accomplish the task. He has said it that he will frustrate the tokens of the liars and will make diviners mad. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. David saw He had victory over them. They were stupefied. And David called the place Bar Perizim. Simply put, the law. That breaks forth. The unlimited God, the one that cannot be resisted, no witch can stop him. The Philistines, no matter how crack, they can stop him. But person. Let me take you a little bit further. You know, in the next verse, verse 21, David burned 
There are images. The charms, you know. Those who don't know God, they depend on something else. They think you don't know what you are doing. They believe in what they tied on their waist. They believe in the colonels that they threw out. They took, you know, little idols along with them. They, some of them carved wood. As they are God. David pumped their images. Somebody shout hallelujah. That's not what I'm going to. But you read the next verse. And the Philistines came up yet again. Somehow. Life seems to be one triumph after another, one test after another. The way it came in 2021 may not be the way it will come in 2022. The enemy is not tired. Defeat upon defeat. Yet they want your head. They want your shame. They want your tears. They want you on the floor. They want to humiliate your God. They want you to come begging. That will never happen. Somebody say amen loud. If he delivered you before, he will deliver you again. What he said yesterday, he will not deny it today. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same tomorrow. Somebody shout yes. But you know, our God is too big that you cannot feed him into your computer. You know, everything the world makes goes by formulas. You know, <laughs> things equal to this are equal to that. <laughs> You know, the world feed information. They gather and, and you know, put them together and predict. You know, it's a world where people want to rise at the expense of others. You know, who would have told you several years ago that through a telephone so much business will come up? We never knew it that way. The world is evolving and they will not be tired. What we think is new now will become old tomorrow. Somebody shout hallelujah. 